Welcome to the interview. The battle for the White House is heating up as GOP hopefuls are struggling for the nomination. Can Mitt Romney keep his lead as Rick's in terms? Momentum is showing the Republican Party more divided than ever. And what are the impact of polls and money in this race? And how Barack Obama is doing among voters so far? A James Barnes, political veteran journalist, uh, will help us tackle this question today. James, thanks for being with us. Um, the great old party appears to be I mean, torn between evangelicals, conservative voters, even Tea Partiers. Um, can we define the Republican base today in 2012? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, it is divided. Evangelicals, born again Christians, uh, tend to be supporting Rick Santorum or Newt Gingrich. Uh, uh, non evangelicals uh, supporting Mitt Romney. Uh, better educated uh, Republican primary voters tend to be a little bit more towards Romney, uh, less well-educated um, uh, towards uh, Santorum. Uh, but just as interesting as some of those demographic uh, divides uh, are the attitudinal divides within the Republican Party. So Republican primary voters who place a high premium on uh, beating uh, Barack Obama, uh, they are voting and supporting Mitt Romney. But Republicans who say that they want a true conservative uh, to represent them in the fall, uh, they're voting uh, for Rick Santorum and Newt Gingrich. And Mitt Romney has got another problem. His contenders are made their, uh, have made their best uh, to isolate him as the millionaire, the billionaire candidate. Um, how is money impacting on this campaign from that very perspective? Well, I think uh, a lot of people have questioned, can Mitt Romney uh, empathize with average voters? Uh, does he understand uh, uh, their needs uh, when uh, you know, he made uh, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, as a hedge Gadiliac. fund. Right. And so I think that that's a problem. But, you know, in the Republican Party, success uh, has not been a big handicap. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Republicans are very committed to the free market, capitalist system. So I think that uh, uh, it, it's, it's not a big handicap uh, for Romney. He just needs to demonstrate that he understands the needs of average Americans. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a uh, very interesting study from the Pew Research Center a few days ago that was uh, establishing how the GOP race is uh, rallying Democrats around Obama. What it says that almost 50 of Democrat voters uh, are saying that now they've learned enough from those Republican containers and that they're more inclined to support their president. And there were just 30 percent of them uh, back in December. Is Obama the winner of the Republican primaries process? Well, he's the winner to the extent that uh, Romney and Gingrich and Santorum and Ron Paul uh, keep attacking each other. And instead of uh, the Republican Party being able to consolidate behind a nominee uh, and turn its attention to Obama, they're in fighting amongst themselves while the president uh, can uh, take the high road uh, look presidential a little bit uh, and continue to raise money. I think that, um, uh, you know, in recent weeks in the United States, there's been a debate uh, about contraception and whether or not uh, uh, contraception should be part of a health care plan. Mm -hmm. uh, Republicans took a, a pretty extreme position. Most Americans even most Republicans believe that contraception should be uh, part of a health care plan. Uh, Santorum opposed uh, Romney, very uh, negative mm -hmm. uh, questioning on that regard. When you have an, uh, th this is only going to rally uh, Democrats uh, to President Obama's side, particularly uh, female Democrats. Uh, can Obama win uh, by the grassroots politics? You know, that the strategy they was implementing during the last campaign, can he really, I mean, heat up this grassroots, this democratic base? I think he'll have a good shot at it, but uh, to the extent that the economy continues to sputter along in the United States, that disproportionately 
uh, adversely affects uh, minorities mm -hmm. and younger voters and those two constituencies uh, were very important parts of President Obama's uh, winning coalition four years ago. Let's talk about money now. Uh, campaign finances are the hot story this year because of super PAC, super PAC. Uh, they've been allowed by the Supreme Court um, to join the game in 2010. At uh, first, can you remind us how super PAC work? Well, basically, a super PAC is allowed to collect unlimited contributions uh, from uh, individual, wealthy individuals, corporations, or trade unions. And uh, these PACs can then spend money on behalf of a candidate as long as they do not coordinate directly with the candidate. Uh, they are free to go ahead and, and, and spend money on their behalf. And uh, uh, Mitt Romney has been the biggest beneficiary in the Republican race. He has the wealthiest super PAC. And for instance, just this week, his super PAC is uh, purchasing a million dollars of advertising in Illinois, a contest uh, that isn't going to be held that primary until March 20th. But his super PAC is already, uh, or the super PAC that is allied, allied with him, mm -hmm. uh, is allowed to spend money on advertising in this, what will be a critical primary. And so far, uh, Romney's two um, uh, primary opponents, uh, Rick Santorum and Newt Gingrich, they haven't been able, they, they don't, mm -hmm. they haven't been able, neither they nor their super PACs has, has, has been investing money in that kind of early advertising. So. Romney's been a, a, a big winner under this system. But can money kill this race? Well, uh, Romney's super PAC has been very effective in raising doubts about his rivals. And we've seen that happen in states. The Romney super PAC basically tore Newt Gingrich down in Iowa and then later in Florida and uh, the Romney Super PAC uh, was very effective in spending in Ohio. Uh, Romney had at least a five to one advantage in television advertising spending in Ohio, and he only won uh, that race by eight tenths of a percentage point. So um, uh, Romney's Super PAC is doing a pretty good job of at least wounding mm -hmm. uh, his opponents. Let's take a minute to look at the electoral map. Um, there are a lot of swing states in the United States. Uh, can those states swing again now in this presidential race, or are we going to see new states rising and taking the questions? Well, I think you have some uh, states, uh, Florida, Ohio, that are perennial uh, swing states, and they are going to be, I fully expect them to be uh, uh, tight contests uh, in November. Um, in 2008, Barack Obama won uh, Indiana and Virginia. First time a Democrat had carried either one of those states mm -hmm. since 1964 when Lyndon Johnson uh, soundly beat uh, Barry Goldwater, the Republican nominee. Um, in 2012, uh, chances are Indiana will go back to revert to its Republican column. Virginia, Obama has a shot, I think, in Virginia. And then a state like Arizona, uh, four years ago, John McCain was the Republican nominee. Uh, this was a state uh, that uh, uh, he managed to carry. But given um, the increased uh, participation of Hispanic and Latino mm -hmm. voters in Arizona, given some of the uh, antipathy that Republican candidates have uh, towards uh, uh, immigration, illegal immigration, and the harsh tone mm -hmm. uh, that they've adopted, uh, it's possible uh, that Obama could be competitive in Arizona. Given the fact that Mitt Romney could be the nominee of the Republican Party, do you have any projection on the ticket for Mitt Romney? Would he go for some, somebody like Marco Rubio, for instance? I think Rubio would probably be a very good candidate for for him, uh, Rubio gives you three things at mm -hmm. least. Uh, uh, number one, uh, Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, he's pretty popular in Florida. Number two, he might have a broader appeal to uh, 
uh, Hispanic voters mm-hmm. and help Romney in other states, uh, 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 Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, all be competitive large uh, Hispanic populations. And also, he's young, youthful. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, uh, uh, you know, Mitt Romney today, today Mitt Romney turns 65 years old Happy and birthday. having a and having a younger uh, uh candidate uh-huh. as his running mate I think uh, uh, would would perhaps make a little bit of a play towards the youth vote which was very strong for Obama in 2008. James Barnes many thanks for in, for your insight and perspective and also projection on this American race uh, let's stay focused and let's stay connected on France 24 France 24 stay home for some more, for some more news. 